Hey, what's happening, guys? I thought today we'd retouch on a subject that I talked about when I first started this channel back in 2016, and that is the subject of multiplexing. Let me turn this light out here so you can see better. Okay, so what you're looking at here is just the digit zero on a seven-segment LED being driven by an Arduino. Nothing particularly special about it, right? Okay, let me bring in some light here, and we'll talk about how we got to here. Well, the first thing is you need to know whether you have a uh, common anode or common cathode display. This is a common cathode display. You can just look it up by the numbers. And then I have this simple diagram to help me out. You have um, segment a, B, C, D, E, F, G, and finally the decimal point on the end. So then what I did is I mapped those segments to the digits. And before you start yelling at your computer or phone or television, I know there are libraries to do this, but I wanted to show you how to do it from scratch. Was it uh, physicist Richard Feynman who said, to create something from scratch, you first must invent the universe? Well, I haven't invented the universe yet, but this might give you some ideas. So, the digit zero basically turns on all segments except for the bar across the middle, which is segment G or pin eight. So, digit zero, A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, the digit one... We just turn on segments B and C. You get the idea? So then I went from that and I mapped the segments to the Arduino pins. So there's zero turns on pins two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, digit one just turns on pins two and four. That should actually be three and four, but anyway. Yeah. No, that's right. I'm not sure. <laughs> but here's what I wanted to show you. As we take a look at this here, this isn't all being turned on at once. This is what multiplexing is talking about. So I've attached this potentiometer here. Now I'm going to shut the big light off again here so you get a better view. And watch what happens when I adjust this potentiometer. Well, now you're starting to see it. This is the blinking that you sometimes see out of the corner of your eye when looking at electronic displays. And this is still tricking our eyes, giving us persistence of vision, right? Well, now I've slowed it down even more. And I can do it again. Well, that doesn't look like a zero in there, does it? I can slow it down even more. And that is what is actually going on when you're driving these things. It's simply the computer turns them on and off. And by computer, I do mean Arduino or Raspberry Pi or whatever you want. It simply turns them on and off so fast that to your eye, it's solid. When in reality, this is what you're getting. And it's just sped up. Over, what, over 30 frames a second, I think we need for persistence of vision. But sometimes they're just not fast enough. And you just get that little bit of shimmer. That's what that is. So, so far, so good. You're with me. Totally understandable, right? Well, this has taken eight pins to drive. If I wanted to do the decimal point, it would take nine. You can do this with a shift register. Um, let's go over and look at the code for a second, because I want you to see how complicated the code, well, not complicated, how crowded the code can actually be. So there's nothing really impressive going on here. In our setup, we're just taking all of our digital pins and setting them for an output, and our analog pin for an input to read from the potentiometer. So in the loop, we're reading the potentiometer with an analog read, 
and then we're taking that value called pot and we're going to put it into the variable called slowly but we're going to map it first because we're getting from 0 to 1024 we're just going to take it from 0 to 500 so that's going to give us no delay to uh, half a second delay at max and then we're just going to turn on and off the individual segments uh, segment 2 which is which is the upper bar across the top. So we turn it on, we pause, we turn it off, we pause. You get the idea. If you had to do this for, um, you know, all 10 digits, you're going to be writing a lot of code. Thankfully, there's easier ways to handle this. All right, now we're going to spice things up a little bit. We're going to go with a four digit seven segment. And there's the part number there, so you can uh, figure it out. But here is the pinout for this guy. And it took me a few minutes to figure this out because I'm not as smart as the average bear. So we have D1, D2, D3, and D4. Those are our digits. And then we have A, B, C, D, E, F. G and our decimal point and I'm sitting here going where is the common it's the digits these are the commons these are your commons so by grounding one of these that is what is going on so we're going to put it in here with the our Arduino and we're going to use the sev seg library, seven segment library. So the first thing we're going to do is start with our digit pins. So the first one, D1, which is the furthest pin away here. D1 goes to digital two on the old Duino. And D2, two, three, three from the other side. One, two, three. D2 goes to pin three. D3, which is the second one in on this side, goes to pin four. And finally, D4 down here, which is this guy, comes up and goes to pin 5, a little something like that. So now we have to start with our segments. So segment A, which is second from the left on the top, Get in there. You want to do that one? Okay, fine. Do that one. Segment A goes to pin six. I think you see how this is going. Segment B, which is all the way on the end over here, goes to pin seven. C, which is third pin from the right on the bottom, one, two, three, and that goes to what, pin nine up here, D, which is second pin from the left over here, goes to the next one up top, you see how it's cool, we're just, we're just kind of weaving them in here, sewing them in. So now we're on E. E is this one all the way over here. And F is this one on top.
like so. And then G. I'm going to have to use a long one for G. G is this guy here. Goes to 12. And we're not going to worry about the decimal point. So let me get this ready and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. And now you see the seven segment counter is running. Uh, put some light on here. It's bleeding in a bit, huh? Come on. There we go. So you can see better now. It's counting at a tenth of a second. And again, this is the SEV, S-E-V, SEG, S-E-G, Arduino display or Arduino library that handles these things really simple. I mean, all you've got to do is plug in your wires and you're good to go. So I hope I answered a couple questions about multiplexing and what it takes to run one of these things from scratch, all that good stuff. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and a big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.